Dr. Sue Odom. I'm the uh, chairman of the baccalaureate nursing program here. And um, you're sitting right now with us in the middle of our new building. We are now over at uh, the Continuing Education, the Harry Downs building. We've been over here for about four years. Really new building and we're so pleased. It's beautiful, it looks over the lake. We have swans, so we're real excited and hopefully we're gonna be growing. We've been doing a lot of nice new things here at, in the School of Nursing that I wanted to kind of let you know about. Uh, one of the big things is we are really on the cutting edge with the simulation lab that we have. We have a brand new simulation laboratory that now consists of three rooms that were renovated. Uh, Dr. Lisa Eichelberger has been real innovative in getting the latest equipment and, and the students have really been using um, the simulation lab for all types of clinical experiences. This is the computer that controls the simulator and it interacts with the monitors and the simulator and gives uh, vital signs, respirations, and ultimately will deliver the baby. We can simulate um, a delivery, a normal delivery, breech delivery, a postpartum hemorrhage, shoulder dystocia, vertex delivery, seizures. What's wonderful about it, it's a very safe environment for patients and nurses that are learning, and also we can actually give the student the type of learning experiences that they hope to have in the hospital. We can't always plan for patients to have the problems and diseases that the students need exposure to, and this way we can build them into a scenario and give them those kinds of experiences for their learning. We're going to go ahead and just do an assessment on you. Can and I stay in the room? Um, well, yes, yes, are you? Are you okay? Who are you? Oh, I'm, I'm her friend. Your friend? Is it okay with you that your friend stay? Yeah, we're going to stay. Okay. She has um, stomach ache. Stomach ache, okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, that's about as far as Good morning, how are you? Excuse me, excuse me, I have a call, I have a call. Yes, how may I help you? Yes, yes, okay, okay. Amnio hook, please. Okay, I have to go, excuse me. It's okay, okay. you're gonna cover okay. Yeah, just getting things going for you. Uh, she went ahead and broke your water to start your labor. Well, when the blood pressure gets that high, it can be um, unsafe for the baby. So the best thing to do if they cannot get the blood pressure down is to go ahead and deliver the baby. Doing okay. uh, so far, the baby is doing fine. Okay. Now what we're going to do is uh, go back over the video. But before we do, uh, I'm, in the interest of time, we'll just stand here while we do yeah. this, okay? But let me ask you, how did you think the simulation went? I think it's, it's, um, it just takes time to build confidence. The more you do it, the better you I think when you Did it feel real to you? Yes. And we just had our very first um, obstetric simulation, uh, and I think it went extremely well. You can see that the students felt that it was real, and they also were reflecting very quickly on what they needed to do. This is what is so valuable about it. It's the second chance you don't get in the hospital to go back and redo a situation and make it better for the patient. Now they have already thought of things that they will do next time when they have a real patient and be able to forestall a potentially dangerous situation. In addition, they felt safe and they felt it was real, as I said. So I think that this was an excellent simulation that went today and I think that uh, they're going to get better over time and will involve more and more students uh, and so that a portion of all of our program will be in simulation at some point. Um, as you know, uh, many times it's hard to get students into the hospital, so the simulation has been a good alternative for us to use where they can actually practice real life patient experiences. We also have um, been real fortunate here in the School of Nursing to receive several um, federal grants. Uh, one of them is, this is our fourth a grant that we received for the Nurse Workforce Diversity Grant. This is an opportunity where students can um, receive mentoring and, and some type of tutoring, um, all that to help them be successful in the nursing program as it is very competitive and very challenging of a program. We have a uh, approximately a 93% pass rate on our NCLEX boards, which is it's really outstanding for our students. We've been really successful in that. And a lot of that is due to the, uh, the grant money that we've received to help these students. This is our third year where we actually have uh, our graduate program. But what we recently got is another grant from the federal government for an RN to MSN 
um, program. And this is for students who have an associate degree but are moving on and going to go straight on through and get their master's in one semester less than it would take them if they had to do the R and the BSN and then the MF in the MMSN. So we're very fortunate with that. We're hopefully going to be growing that program. We're going to be doing a lot of recruitment, so anybody has any ideas about recruitment and so forth, please let us know because we'd like to tap into various hospitals and other healthcare agencies where we can put the word out that we have this program. Um, we, we all know that there is a shortage of healthcare professionals, especially nurses, and we also know that we need nurse educators. As you can see, many of us, many of the educators are growing older and we need to have a new supply that will fill our shoes when we leave. And so we are very pleased with all of these programs. Um, we, we really appreciate all the support that the alumni have given us. We would continue to, to really appreciate any support that you would be able to provide. Um, those of you who want to give back to the school, you know, that's something that we will always treasure. Um, it's your alumni, your legacy, and we would like for you to be able to um, give back to what we once gave you.